according to the previous video i am going to uh, start again um, after that so for getting the boundary um, value we are going to uh, call the boundary and uh, save it in the boundary so i entered it and it is converted into the line string now and the length 129 it's d type geometry and after this getting polygon centroid uh, so um, we will get the centroid of this polygon the polygon of these things this polygon and we will get the centroid value so shift enter we'll get the point like each point of the centroid yeah each point of the centroid in uh, sting nothing form and so we are going to uh, make a map plot the map and we are calling zdf dot plot for this is a uh, geopanda library function so gdf plot so we can see the plot and when we call gdf before when we call gdf only these three names were shown but after adding the boundary centroid and area we can see three different columns are added to here and then after this uh, we can plot uh, the map according to the area and we will put the legend and the figure size will be of 10 by 8 so when we run this we can see the map according to the area so the largest area will have the yellow color and the smallest area will have dark um, benzel color yeah and the size is also um, seems to be weak and um, we are again going to set the geometry as uh, centroid so uh, in here uh, the geometry will be uh, considered as a centroid so the centroid of this geometry will be considered here and when we run this we can see only the centroid value with the colors okay this is uh, this is so good map now after this we are going to show the geometry uh, with the size of 10 by 8 and also in that geometry we want to add this centroid so which one which will be black in color so when i run this uh, we can see the geometry and the centroid of all these places and after this uh, we will set uh, the geometry as a geometry so in here we set geometry as a centroid and we can see these maps when we uh, set the geometry as a geometry we can uh, see uh, these things again yeah again uh, the this the same thing will be seen here because we don't want this anymore and uh, for the reprojection uh, or um, for the changing of the uh, data like uh, it's uh, changing of the um, projection system we are going to do this work for this we are taking the url of the same uh, geojson file and hit enter and read the file and to the crs we'll convert the CR, uh, crs from one epsc to another epsc it is the epsc of wgs84 it will be in longitude and latitude form so shift enter again uh, we will show the uh, converted 
uh, our projected coordinate system projected means just it will show the um, longitude and latitude form of this uh, and after this we are going to uh, have the geo interface underscore underscore geo underscore interface underscore underscore and let's see uh, what will happen so when we and just uh, remove this has sign and click enter we can see the um, output as a geojson file so all the files uh, coordinate system has been changed to CRS so if you want to uh, watch the CRS of this data we can again do uh, one thing we had did it before I think mm, let me check yeah gdf.crs if you write and these things like geojson.crs I think we can see the crs but uh, we cannot see this because the dictionary object has no attribute so gi geojson is a uh, dictionary object but we can do this one gdf underscore crs dot crs yeah yeah we can see these things like it is converted to wgs 84 now and it will be geodetic latitude in the north and geodetic longitude in the east so the boundary are these things and green prime meridian is green which meridian so it is totally different from the before Mm, where it has gone yeah it is projected CRS the name is North American Datum 83 UTM projection 18 yen but now it has changed to WGS 84 okay now we will display the interactive map for the interactive map we will call the geodemo on uh, that map and the center and zoom layer and we will run this code and we can see the map uh, inside here it's an interactive map we can zoom it zoom out we can full extend it we can add some markers we can make some polygons we can make circles uh, we can edit the layers like this one we can delete the layer we can measure the distances also the area and we can turn layer on and off like this one is the open street map this one is the google map yeah and again we will do some works uh, over it so we will make a style for new layer we will add a shape file inside here so the style will be these things like it's like a css for the map and we will add the nyc neighborhood like uh, add the geojson file uh, and the style will be this style and the layer name will be NYC neighborhood so when I enter this uh, I can see NYC neighborhood here yeah is the same the geojson file the name was NYC neighborhood now this layer name is this one we can see the name here and after this uh, we will add some new york subway station so we will use the zip file here like there we can also give 
and download the file uh, in the folder and we can give the uh, we can give this uh, location of the our um, data like I'll suppose I have uh, downloaded one file here not the save file yeah I think here yeah here is the save file and this one is the zip file so I can give the location of the zip file no Germany Germany is the zip file so copy here and I will copy the code here and then uh, go to Germany dot zip so for this uh, I will use double slash so that it wouldn't escape us it would escape one slash here and when I enter this the zip file will be added I hope So I will go to Germany now it's not added yet uh, okay here is the URL and we have to read that file without reading it wouldn't be wouldn't work so maybe now not working I don't know why uh, let's do this one maybe the file maybe is corrupted here here is the save file but it's uh, it there are too many save files so it may be confused over it I should have make one save file but it needs all these uh, PRJ and all these files so let let's do one thing here bz2500 I will copy all these things okay and copy and create one file here like my name and convert it to zip I don't know it's not working oh yeah it's not copied yet so send to zip then I think I will name it as a and shift enter here shift enter here is the code not giving me not recognized as the supported file format so it's zip It's a zip file but it's not working I don't know why maybe this name will work let's try this would be the silliest silly silly thing I am doing because I want some solution this would be the silliest thing as I said so just um, just leave the way it was we will download uh, the zip file and I will again uh, upload the video with a new 
things so i will add this zip file uh, this zip file is also not working now okay this is working and we can see here um, nothing new like we read the file we click here and we added the interface and add the geojson NOX station oh then one lead will come so i don't know that uh, my my file will work because it hasn't uh, um, worked in the before session let me try again okay and double slash here and Germany dot zip and here and here and here and here yeah german is added finally thank god okay thank you for watching uh we had the layer like a uh, new work sub layer for germany we can change the name to germany here germany save file and shift enter now now it will be germany yeah. yeah thank you for watching keep subscribe my channel and thank you professor queen kui sheng for this wonderful uh, concept